Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Canon 5D and Nikon D700. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Canon 5D and the Nikon D700 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 12th of November 2005 and the 7th of October 2008. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Canon 5D. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Nikon D700. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Canon 5D and the Nikon D700. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Canon 5D. And here are some sample photos from the Nikon D700. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Canon 5D. I am extremely satisfied with the purchase of this camera. It appeared to be brand new and everything worked perfectly, Plus it came with a lot of accessories. I have been using the Canon 5D MKIII for a while now, and I am extremely happy with the upgrade. The autofocus is practically telepathic, the AEB system allows for better HDR shots, and the new sensor provides excellent low-light performance. The camera has been overhauled and enhanced in every aspect, and I couldn't be happier with my purchase. The only improvements I wish for are built-in GPS and Wi-Fi, USB 3.0 transfer, and a lower price. Overall, I am thrilled with the improvements made by Canon and would highly recommend the 5D MKIII to other photographers. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon D700. The D700 is a serious camera that is worth the price, especially compared to other options in the same price range. It may draw too much attention for street photography, but it still takes great quality pictures. The D3S is a better camera, but the price difference may not be worth it. Overall, I would rate the D700 at 4 fifths and consider it a great value. I recently switched from my D5000 to the D700 and noticed a few differences. The D700 has a louder shutter sound, is heavier, and uses compact flash instead of SD cards. However, it has a better viewfinder, higher ISO performance, more buttons, and a larger size. Overall, it's a great camera for someone who wants an FX sensor without the bulk of the D3 lineup. If you can afford it, go for it. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Canon 5D we will give it an overall rating of 7 out of 10. Nikon D700. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 